Okay, welcome to lesson 10. So the first thing I want to show you is how to make your game look a little bit nicer. So one thing, I mean, you already know how to make terrain, but uh, let's say you just wanted to start with the base plane. You can actually change some things in the base plane. First thing we'll do is delete this texture. So click on this and delete that texture. And then go to the material, click on the base plane, and make it some kind of nice material. So I like cobblestone. So there, now we have a nice looking floor. Okay. The next thing is the sky is pretty boring, just has that sun in there. So let's go ahead and change that as well. Okay, so one thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to terrain and we're going to click on the little plus sign and we're going to look for clouds. So you go down a little bit and right after effects, there's clouds. Okay, and now we have clouds. And um, what we want to do is uh, change the properties. So you can make them thicker and change the density. So it just has these little sliders here. Yeah, um, don't make it too thick. Uh, let's try the density. The density, I think, just makes them, yeah, like thicker. So that looks pretty good. So, you know, play around with those settings. Uh, do what you'd like. Uh, the next thing is you can actually change the time of day. So if you go into lighting here, it has a bunch of settings. Um, and you can play around with all this stuff if you like. You can spend hours doing this. But there's a clock time setting here. And if you click on it, it has a slider. And watch what happens when I move this. The sun actually will go down. You can get like a sunset. <laughs> uh, or you can make it night if you go. And you can have uh, the moon out. And it's kind of bright. Yeah. So, um, yeah, pretty nice, actually. At night, you would probably have to have some lights. Um, you can also change the brightness, I think. Let me see what happens if I change the brightness. Yeah, so at night, you can turn up the brightness, and it's still a little dark. Let me see if I can make it brighter still. Yeah, even with full brightness at night, it's kind of hard to see. But you would you'd probably have to have some kind of light source here. Um, but let me undo that. And let me change the time of day to some kind of daytime, actually. So I usually pick 17. 17 works pretty well for me. Yeah, even 16.5 is nice. You can see the sun about to set. Okay. Another thing you can change is you can, um, let's see, where would that be? That's actually not under, if you click on light lighting to ex expand it, I think it's under sky. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. And you can make the sun, you can make it bigger. So I can make it like a 25. And there we have a nice big sun. And then there's a few other things. Uh, some people, when they open up these templates, they don't. They tell me that they can't. They don't have this stuff. You can always add it though, just by click, clicking the plus sign. But the other one that I was going to mess with here is sun rays, and you can actually change those. So it's got a couple of sliders again. I'll usually make this like a point two, and now you can see some sun rays coming off of the sun. And then on the spread, I'll also let's see. I usually leave it around there because it gets to be too distracting. So I'll just leave it like at a point one. So point two for the intensity and a point one for the spread looks pretty good, and that looks nice. And uh, you know you can't really see the sun anymore, so you might want to tone turn back the uh, the cover on the clouds. Let's see. Oh, and now you can see it really well. Um, but yeah, just play around with it. Uh, find something that you like. Um, I think you can even change the number of stars. I forget where that's at. It might be. Oh, yeah, but if you'll notice, the clouds are actually moving. <laughs> but if you go to lighting, let me see if it has stars on here. I forget where that's at. It might be under sky. Let's see if sky has the number of stars. Nah, I forget. Atmosphere, maybe? Density, lighting. Ah, so many different, so many different settings. Um, let's see if it's under lighting, maybe. Brightness, the clock time, exposure. Yeah, I forget where where the 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 um stars setting is. You'll have to look through this. Let's see. Seeing if there's any other settings. I usually don't don't mess with these too much. There's actually websites where they have all of these settings and pictures that you can use to, oh, here it is. Okay, under sky, there's a star count. So when it's at night, um, you can change the number of stars there. And you can actually change the, the size of the moon as well here. Okay, so just different things to play with. Um, just find something you like. And that sun rays is way too strong. Let me turn that down. I don't want it to be so strong. Let's see. 
that's good. Just a little bit, just a little bit of sun rays. Okay. So, you know, just wanted you to see that there are a lot of settings that you can use to make uh, your game look more realistic. And uh, let's see anything else here. Oh, there are actually um, material settings. I think it's under terrain. So you can actually change the colors of everything. Uh, yeah. So if you click on terrain and you go to material colors, you can change the color of water. You can change water properties there. We don't have any here, but uh, one thing I wanted to show you is you can actually change the color of the materials. So if you click on cobblestone, you can change that to any color you like. So let's uh, see if I wanted to make it green. Oh, hey, why didn't it work? Wait, this is cobblestone. Oh, you know what? These might just be the um, materials. Let me undo that. These might just be the materials for um, the terrain editor, not the materials here that we use um, in this in using this material button. Uh, so it's not going to make a difference. Uh, but that's it. I just wanted to show you some of these. Um, yeah, and again, a, a lot of these, if you're into photography, or if you get into photography, these will be really familiar to you. I actually don't understand what bloom is or a lot of these photography terms. But that's it for... Uh, some of these lighting and clouds and, and uh, sun settings. In the next video, I'll show you how to add some music to your game.